June 14th looked like a decent day for a tornado across southwest Kansas. I was chasing with Adam Lucio and we spent the previous day in the Texas Panhandle not seeing too much despite intercepting a couple of tornado worn storms. We intercepted this supercell near Jonathan City, Kansas. It remained in mostly a high precipitation mode and also had an unusual orientation. The hook on this storm was almost facing east so the inflow notch was to the north but the storm was still moving east. This made it difficult to approach the storm with a clear view and not wind up in the core. We watched this detached piece of scud become anchored to the storm's base and start rotating. A dust whirl kicked up underneath which you can see here as well. With rotation aloft and a dust whirl at the ground we might have had a weak tornadic circulation here. It was more likely that this was just outflow or a gustnado though, so we didn't count it as a tornado. We had to constantly play leapfrog with the storm as the rear flanking downdraft was immediately behind that gust front you just saw here. If we let these clouds pass overhead, we might be inside some pretty heavy rain and precipitation. So we wanted to keep moving east so we'd have a clear shot of the storm without rain all over the camera dome. Here's another neat area of rotation you can see moving across the screen. This base was probably fanning out with some bookend vortices on either side. The area of interest for tornadoes, however, is behind this feature. You can see an area of clearing starting to cut through the storm here. That's a rear flanking downdraft creating a clear slot the sign this supercell was getting ready to produce a tornado. If you look closely here, you might catch a brief funnel cloud in the background. Playing leapfrog again to stay ahead of the storm, our timing was fairly bad as this is when the storm produced its tornado. I'll contrast enhance the video here so you can make it out better. The tornado formed directly behind us while we were driving away from it, and without the camera dome being able to pan backwards for the shot, I probably would have missed capturing this tornado entirely. By the time we realized we had a tornado behind us, we tried to cut north to get a better view of the tornado, but it only lasted a couple of minutes. We then got caught in the rear flanking core of the storm and got some severe winds, but we were able to get back out ahead of it. Our road options took us away from the storm and it looked like it was starting to weaken, so we were on our way to Medicine Lodge, Kansas to get some dinner and a room for the night. The storm regained its tornado warning, however, and turned southeast. We could see it on the horizon, so we stopped on top of a hill to shoot some video as it approached. The headlights you see here are Tim Samaris and the Twistex group. There's some neat motions in the clouds as it looks like multiple gust fronts fanning out from underneath the storm. We didn't see anything tornadic or good supercell structure, however. <laughs> 